We're back with an award named for one of the theater's most celebrated and committed advocates, Isabel Stevenson. To honor the spirit of her volunteerism, this special Tony recognizes an individual from the theater community for their humanitarian work. This year's recipient is two-time Tony Award winner, impassioned advocate, and one of the most beloved members of our community, Judith Light. Here's a, Here's a brief look at some of her efforts on behalf of humanitarian causes. Judith Light is the recipient of the Isabel Stevenson Award. Since the early days of the AIDS pandemic, Ms. Light has spoken out against the divisive response toward the LGBTQ plus community and aligned herself with a multitude of relevant projects and organizations. Don't let anybody tell you there is anything wrong with you. You are perfect exactly the way you are. Ms. Light is one of only six performers in Broadway history to be awarded back-to-back -to -back Tony Awards for her featured actress roles in other desert cities in 2012 and the assembled parties in 2013. This is such a gift. It's our pleasure. It's our pleasure to present this year's Isabel Stevenson Tony Award to Judith Light. Thank you. Thank you so thank you. Thank you so much. It it has long been my privilege to support the HIV AIDS and the LGBTQ plus communities. So to be honored in this way tonight is extremely humbling. On the tenth anniversary of this award, I must acknowledge that it is here in this theater community that I have been inspired to do this work. It was the height of the AIDS pandemic in the early 80s, and so many people in our theater family were dying. However, even as they suffered the ravages of the disease, they came out and demonstrated courage, the likes of which I had never seen before. Organizations such as the Gay Men's Health Crisis, Broadway Cares, Equity Fights, AIDS, among others, were created. <laughs> Plays were written that alerted the world to the devastation of AIDS and homophobia. Angels in America, The Normal Heart, Torch Song, Laramie Project, Boys in the Band, Love, Valor, Compassion, and many more. And there were people in my life, and who still are, who are demonstrations of service. My mother and father, my dear friends and agents, Bob Gersh, Jason Gutman, my publicist, Alan Nirob, my late manager, Herb Hampshire, and my husband, Robert Desiderio, Daryl Roth, Tommy Kale, Joe Mantello, Jill Soloway, Ryan Murphy, and so many others. There is a, a quote from George Bernard Shaw that has become the context of my life, and it goes, I am of the opinion that my life belongs to the whole community, and as long as I live it is my privilege to do for it whatever I can. I want to be thoroughly used up when I die. For the harder I work, the more I live. Life is no brief candle to me. It is a sort of splendid torch I've got hold of for the moment, and I want to make it burn as brightly as possible before handing it on to future generations. And to those of you who are our future generations, please remember, you are our legacy and that there is nothing to get in life, only what you give.